नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स कॉन्टिन्यूइंग विथ चैप्टर टेन लेट एस डू सम मिसलेनियस एग्जाम्पल्स टूडे फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल आर टेकन हेयर दे हैव गिवन अस थ्री लाइन्स एंड लाइन्स आर कंक्रेन टू ईच अदर एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड वैल्यू ऑफ के वॉट डू मीन बाई कंक्रेंट लाइन्स थ्री और मोर देन थ्री लाइन्स पासिंग थ्रू द सेम पॉइंट आर कॉल्ड कंक्रेट लाइन्स so if they are saying that these three lines are concurrent means their point of intersection is common they are passing through same common point if i give them equations 1 2 three and this missing value is second equation so just by solving first and third equation by any of the methods that you have learned in class 10th elimination method you can do substitution you can do or cross multiplication we can also use so by using any of the methods if we find out value of x and y from these two equations and then put these values in second equation we will get the value of k let us do it equation 1 Equation one and three. Simply add these equations. That means we are using elimination method. Life elimination. So why we get cut? Five x minus five is equal to zero. So five x equals to five gives x as one. Now, if you put this value of x as one in any of the equation, one or three, we we'll get y. Put x equals to one in equation. So I'm taking one. So it'll be two into one plus y minus three is equal to zero. So what are you getting? Two plus y minus three is equal to zero. This is y and minus one. So on that side, it will become one. So we have obtained x as one and y as one. Both the values, if we put in this second equation, put x equals to one, y equals to one. Equation. So what are we getting? We are having five x plus k y minus three is equal to zero. So five in place of x one is inserted plus k y is also one minus three is equal to zero. So after solving, we will be getting five plus k minus three is equal to zero. Five and minus three will give two. So k plus two equals to zero. K equals to minus. Just solving two equations means finding point of intersection of two equations and putting those values in third equation. We have obtained the value of unknown variable. Now, in next example, they have given that line, straight line, x minus three y plus four is working as a plane mirror for a point one two, and we have to find the image of this point through this plane mirror. It means through this straight line. If we draw this line, x minus three y plus four is equal to zero, and suppose this is the position of the point P, one two, and we have to find mirror image. Mirror image means whatever this distance, same will be the distance behind the mirror. Mirror image, PO and this OQ should be equal. PO should be equal to OQ. Second thing, this line will become 
perpendicular for this mirror, this PQ. Means what we can say is a straight line is perpendicular bisector of PQ. So one thing perpendicular. Perpendicular means if you go for condition of perpendicularity. If two lines are perpendicular, then their slope is having a relation m1 into m2 equals to minus 1. So first thing we have to obtain slope for PQ as well as for this line, say L. Then we'll be using condition of perpendicularity. Second thing, this is this line L is bisecting PQ. That means if we find midpoint of PQ. We can take Q as say H A. So if we find out midpoint of PQ, that point will be a intersection point for line L and PQ. So let us do it. So first thing we have to obtain slope for PQ. We are starting with PQ. 1, 2, x1, y1 and fk x2, y2. So when we find, we have learned how to find slope. We have learned the formula that slope can be obtained by y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. And get the value as k minus 2 upon h minus 1. This is slope of PQ. Now for finding slope of equation x minus 3y plus 4, we will have to rearrange the things. 3y should go to that side. It will give 3y equals to x plus 4. This we have obtained by rearranging. Y is equal to this 3 will go inside x upon 3 plus y upon 3. So if we compare it with y equals to mx plus c, slope form of the straight line, what is the value of m coming? m is coming out to be 1 upon 3. So slope for straight line, slope for line L is coming out to be 1.3. As I have told you that PQ and L are perpendicular to each other. So using the condition of perpendicularity, we know that M1 into M2 is equal to minus 1. So first slope, slope for the straight line we have obtained 1.3 and slope for PQ we have obtained K minus 2 upon H minus 1 equals to minus 1 will become now solving k minus 2 is 3h 3 and h minus 1 will come to this side minus 1 is there so it is minus 3 k minus 2 is equal to minus 3h plus 3 so k plus 3h and minus 5 we have obtained an equation in the form of k and h. Second thing I've told that this line is a bisector for PQ. That means we have to find midpoint of PQ and then filling this point of intersection, means taking this midpoint as point of intersection for PQ and straight line L. If you put those values of x and y in this equation, you will obtain one more equation. So firstly midpoint of PQ we obtain midpoint x1 plus x2 upon 2 so this will be 1 plus h upon 2 and k plus 2 upon 2 now taking it as x this is y putting in equation number 1 Insert x equals to 1 plus h upon 2 and y as k 
plus 2 upon 2 in equation 1. We will be having 1 plus h upon 2 minus 3 a plus 2 upon 2 plus 4. Taking LCM, we have obtained 2 only. So, we will be having 1 plus H minus 3K minus 6. This 2 will come here. 8, 0. So, what we have obtained? Minus 3K plus H. 8 plus 1, 9. 9 minus 6, 3. Is equal to 0. So, now we have obtained two equations. One is k plus 3h minus 5 and the other is minus 3k plus h plus 3 equals to 0. Now if we solve these two equations by any of the methods, we will be getting the value of k and h. Equation 2 and 3, let us choose elimination method. For elimination method, we can multiply second equation with 3. So we see what to multiply. So we will be having 3k plus 9h minus 15 is equal to 0 and here we are having minus 3k plus h plus 3 is equal to 0 and adding the two equations we will be having 10h minus 12 so 10h equals to 12 so h comes out to be 12 upon 10 means 6 upon 5 now again either using this elimination method only or by just putting the value of this h in equation number 2 or 3. We will again eliminate and now for elimination firstly we have crossed k now we want to cross h so multiply second equation with 3. So we are having k plus 3h minus 5 is equal to 0 minus 9k plus 3h plus 9 is equal to 0. Changing the sign. What do you obtain? 10k cost minus 14 equal to 0. K will come out to be 14 upon 10 means 7 upon 5. So what we have obtained? We have obtained mirror image of point C. What we have obtained? We have obtained mirror image of point 1 and 2 as 6 upon 5 and 7 upon 5. In next question, they are asking us to show that if a triangle is drawn, Using three lines y equals to m1x plus c1. Second line is y equals to m2x plus c2 and x equal to 0. Triangle form. We have to find out the area of this triangle and we have to show that this area is equal to c1 minus c2 whole square upon two times mod of m1 minus m2. When we say x equal to 0, x equal to 0 means y axis. So one line would be this one. When we say x equal to 0. So the other two lines L1 and L2. Now if we put x equal to 0 in first equation, that is the first equation and second equation. If we put x equal to 0 in equation 1, we will be getting y equals to C1. And if you put x equal to 0 in second equation, we will get y equals to C2. So put x equal to 0 in equation 1 and 2. We have got first case y is C1 and other case y is C2. So what are these points we have obtained? Point P is having coordinates as 0 and C2 and coordinates of Q are 0 and C1. We have to find the 
coordinates of this point r for getting coordinates of point r if we rearrange equation 1 and 2 we will be having y minus m1x minus c1 and y minus m2x minus c2 now if we solve by elimination just by changing the sign what will get cancelled and we will be having m2x minus m1x means m2 minus m1x and here it is c2 minus c1 equal to 0. So m2 minus m1x if we shift these c1 and c2 to other side it will be c1 minus c2 and x will come out to be c1 minus c2 upon m2 minus now after getting the value of x, if we put the value of x in equation 1 or equation 2, we will get the value of y. Now inserting the value of x in equation 1, y is equal to m1 in place of x, we obtain c1 minus c2 upon m2 minus m1. plus c1. This we have obtained by putting x, putting the value of x in equation 1. So y equals to taking m1 inside m1 c1 minus m2 c2 this m1 I have taken inside m1 c1 and m1 c2 and here if you take LCM this m1 and m2 will come here it will be c1 m2 minus c1 m1 upon m2 minus m1 this m1 I have taken inside and multiplied and here I have taken LCM also so now m1 c1 cut so we are with m2 c2 and m2 c1. So if we take m2 common, we are having m2, or we can write it like this also, m2 c2 minus m2 c1 minus m2 c2 upon m2 minus m2. Now we have obtained coordinates of point R. So we can say, we have obtained triangle PQR with coordinates of PR 0 and C2, coordinates of QR 0 and C1 and coordinates of R we have obtained X is C1 minus C2 upon M2 minus M1 and Y as M2 C1 minus m2 c2 upon m2 minus m1. So now we are having value of all the coordinates, all the vertex points we are having. So now using the formula of finding area, we can very easily obtain the area of triangle PQR. Now area of triangle, formula you know it is half x1 y2 minus y3 x2 y3 minus y1 and x3 y1 minus y2 if we name it as x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 so the moment we start putting the values you see as x1 is 0 so 0 into y2 minus y3 no need of finding the putting the values then x2 0 And x3 we have the values. So here we will be putting the values. So basically this is 0, this is 0. This we have to half x3. What is x3? x3 is c1 minus c2 upon m2 minus m1. 
multiplied with y1. What is y1? y1 is c2 minus y2 c2. If we rearrange this half, this can be written as C2 minus C1 and this can also be written as M1 minus M2. By rearrangement, minus will come in common, so that will get cut. And here we have C2 minus C1. So this is coming out to be C2 minus C1 whole square upon M1 minus M2. So what we have obtained, area of triangle as C2 half of C2 minus C1 whole square upon mod of M1 minus M2. So as you can see, we have obtained the result which was being asked in the question. Same thing they have said. Let's prove that area of triangle drawn by the three lines is equal to half C2 minus C1 whole square upon mod of M1 minus M2. In next question, they are saying, show that path of a moving point is a straight line. If condition is given that this the distances of this point from the lines 3x minus 2y equals to 5 and 3x plus 2y equals to 5 are same. So what is given to us? If a point is given which is having same distance from two straight lines, then we have to show that this point will also lie on a straight line. Let us do it. Let the point be P having coordinates H and K. These are the lines given to us. In last lecture, we have learned that if we have to find distance of a point from a straight line, then we are using this formula ax1 plus by1 plus c mod upon under root of a square plus b square. So when we have to find the distance of point P from first equation, in that case, we will be writing 3x1 minus 2y1 minus 5 upon in place of a 3 has come in place of b minus 2 has come so it will be 3 square plus minus 2 square now this x1 and y1 will be filling h and k so we will be having this distance d1 as 3h minus 2y 2k Minus 5 upon 3 square 9 plus 4 root 30. Root 30. And when we have to find the distance of point P from second equation, in that case, we will be having 3x1 plus 2y1 minus 5 upon under root of 3 square plus 2 square. Again in place of x1 and y1, we will be writing h and k. So d2 will be getting 3h plus 2k minus 5. Again here we have uh, 3 square and 2 square as 9 and 4, that is 30. Now according to question, distance of point P from given two lines are equal, distances are equal. So we will be writing d1 and d2 equal and after solving we will get the values of h and k. So according to version d1 equals to d2 implies from equation third and fourth we we'll get 3h minus 2k minus 5 upon under root 13 is equal to
3x plus 2k minus 5 upon 100. So root 13 will get cancelled. We are having modulus both the sides. So when we remove this mod, we will be having two values. Either positive of 3x minus 2k minus 5 is equal to 3h plus 2k minus 5. One thing. Or negative of this is equal to this. So one time positive value and one time negative value because of mod. Or we will be having negative of 3h minus 2k minus 5 is equal to 3h plus 2k minus 5. So these two equations we have got. Let us solve these equations. 3h will get cancelled. 2 will come into this side. Will give us minus 4k and minus 5 and minus 5 will get cancelled. 0. So we have obtained minus 4k equals to 0 means k equals to 0. Here minus 3h plus 2k plus 5 is equal to 3h plus 2k minus 5. Now if we shift things, it will be minus 6h cancelled 10 to 0. So 6h equals to 10, h equals to 5.3. So what we have obtained? We have obtained the value of h and k. h comes out to be 5 upon 3. Therefore, point is 5, 3 and k is coming out to be 0. So as you can say, as you can see that if we draw a line using these points, it will be a straight line. So what we have shown that the path of a, lap, of a point which is equidistant from two straight lines is also a straight line.